Aloha, and welcome to Hilo High School, home of the mighty Vikings. It is a pleasure to have you joining us on this tour. Before we begin our journey, let me give you a little background on this beloved school. In the late 1800s, students on the Big Island who wanted to pursue a high school level education were required to travel to the island of Oahu. The principal of Hilo Union School, Miss Josephine Deo, was concerned for the well-being of these students and wanted each one to have the opportunity to continue their education while remaining on the Big Island. In response, the Hilo Junior High School was established in 1905, allowing students to continue on through the ninth grade. Hilo High School with grades 10 through 12 was established in 1906. Our school is not only rich in history, but continues to grow through its legacy by cultivating a sense of place and belonging for its students, their families, faculty, staff, and the community. Here is Office Assistant Tiffany Ho'ota to kick off our tour. Our first stop on this tour is the school office. It is located at the entrance of the school. Here you will find the register, Mrs. Mitsuda, our three vice principals, Ms. Williams, Mr. Trimble, and Mrs. Pana, and our principal, Mrs. Urasaki. You will also be delighted to see our lovely office staff. And now, here is our principal, Mrs. Urasaki, with a few words. Welcome to Hilo High School. I am Mrs. Urasaki, your principal. I wish you all a great start of your high school career. Although we are living in uncertain times, make the best of every opportunity that comes your way. Please understand that we have high expectations of not only academics, but character as well. For academics, that means you need to study hard over and beyond what you're used to. Be that self-directed learner and learn everything you can. That will make you a more powerful person and open doors and possibilities you never expected. For character, this means that you be respectful, responsible, and safe. Follow all school rules, especially our social distancing protocols. We need to be sure that you, along with others, are safe. We need everyone to be safe. Always be helpful, humble, and kind, and be the best person that you can be. Again, welcome to Hilo High as our newest Vikings make us proud. Have a fabulous year. Remember, once a Viking, always a Viking. Thank you, Mrs. Urasaki and Tiffany. Our next stop on the tour is A Building. Here to tell you more about it is Mrs. Christine Arbels. This is A Building. It was originally constructed in 1922 and it was the first building. It used to be called the Mackay Building and housed the entire high school here. The principal's office used to be located on the bottom floor, which is now where our counselors and our health room are located. Also, we have our student association office, Viking store and AVID classes here. Most of you will have math class here because this is where most of our math classes are located. Thank you, Mrs. Arbos. We will now go on to Mr. Tom Goya, Hilo High School class of 1961 alumnus. He will be giving us a brief history of B Building. The next stop on our tour is Building B, which is also known as the Auditorium Building. This is the cornerstone that was placed here to commemorate its construction in 1927, only a year after the alma mater was written. The alumni classes from 1909 to 1926 helped fund the construction of this building. The architect who designed Building B was Frank Arakawa, who was in the first graduating class of Hilo High School in 1909. He later attended Stanford University and the University of Chicago and served his country as a military officer during World War I. The blue and gold welcome sign above the entrance to the auditorium is also historically significant. Building contractor S.K. Oda crafted this sign for the 1927 dedication of the building. The sign was kept in storage by his son, architect Russell Oda. It was restored more than 90 years later, in 2018, and rededicated and placed over the doorway to welcome new Vikings 
visitors and also returning alumni. Currently, Building B is the home of the Performing Arts Learning Center and many of the Social Studies Department classrooms. Thank you, Mr. Goya. Mrs. Charlene Masuhara, Student Activities Coordinator, will now share the history of C Building, R Building, and the O Gym. In 1977, the original Malka Building burnt down. The community quickly responded by beginning construction of a new building within the next year. Norman Mizuguchi, originally from Pepikeo and a Hilo High alumnus, was a senator at that time and helped to get the legislature to fund this project. And within three years, C Building was constructed in 1980. Presently, C Building is the home of our science and English classes. In this area, we have our old gym and our building. Our old gym was built in 1937. Below it is our weight room. Although it is very old, we still use it for our PE classes. Our building was built in 1970. In our building, you will find our Japanese and Spanish language classes, along with some upper grade level English classes. Thank you, Mrs. Masuhara, for the history of these buildings. Here is Ms. Kelly Frias, College and Career Counselor, to introduce the Student Learning Resource Center. This building was built in 1963. Originally, it was a small library and a multi-purpose room used for meetings, and over the years, it was renovated and refurbished. This space and its many resources are used by students as a place to study and work on projects. This area is also the home of our own Hilo High Student Credit Union sponsored by the Hawaii Community FCU. You can open your own account here and deposit and withdraw money. In addition, it serves as the College and Career Center as well as the Testing Center. Located here upon the hills is T Building, where the JROTC program and classes are held. Here is Skye and Ariana to tell you more about the program. Hi, my name is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Sky Domingo, the Battalion Commander and Student Leader for the Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, also known as JROTC. JROTC plays an important role on campus by building our students into confident and motivated individuals. JROTC is a place to learn about who you are and how you can actively use that information in your everyday life. The lessons we cover in class truly teach you more about yourself. You will learn about your strengths, weaknesses, and leadership qualities, as well as important life skills. Through these lessons, students develop many different skills. Overall, our students feel stronger and more confident in their newfound abilities. Hi, I'm Cadet Major Ariana Wilson, and I'm the Executive Officer for the Viking Battalion. JRTC offers many hands-on experiences as well. Special teams are a handful of different teams where cadets train, compete, and build memory and they are all open to cadets to participate in. Among the list of special teams that we offer are Raiders, where cadets will participate in physical competitions, Color Guard, where cadets will present the flags at events such as football games, and Drill, where cadets compete in a marching and facing movement based competition. Being a cadet, you will also have the opportunity to participate in community parades and our service learning project, where we do something to benefit both the community and our learning. By participating in events like these, cadets can earn many different types of awards that they get to display on their uniforms. This is just a glimpse of the opportunities that JROTC provides. It's a fun and active program that builds and prepares you for life. Thank you, and I hope to see all of our new cadets in class soon. Our athletic director is located upstairs in the new gym, along with our athletic trainers. Mr. Kurt Kawachi, a Hilo High School alumnus and former athletic director, will now share a few words. Aloha, my name is Kurt Kawachi and I'm a proud graduate of Hilo High School, class of 1990. I not only played sports here, but I was also the girls basketball coach for several years and I'm also the former athletic director here at Hilo High. I have a lot of fond memories of athletics here at HHS and I wish all of you great success when you arrive. Let's go take a look at the new gym. 
The new gymnasium opened its doors in 2014 and our very first event here was a girls basketball game played in December of 2014 and our Lady Vikings prevailed over Kalakai High School. The gym seats 1,050 people and this will be your gathering place for many sporting events, lots, homecoming and May Day activities throughout your four years here at Hilo High. Thank you all for allowing me to welcome you to Hilo High School and go Vikes! Thank you, Mr. Kawachi, and thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of Hilo High School. Hilo High School is your home. Please know that you are part of our Viking family. Do your best to represent and always do your best in your schoolwork. And if you play sports or belong to a club, you need to be proud of the blue and gold that you proudly wear. Our theme this school year is Viking Strong, together, honor, and loyalty forever. Welcome to Hilo High home of the mighty Vikings, and remember, once a Viking, always, always a, a Viking. Viking.